Welcome to Too Cool for School Music. Uh, you can find us on the web at cooldiscountinstruments.com. And I'm here showing you a Line 6 Spider 2 15, which is a 15 watt amp with an 8 inch speaker. And this thing really cranks. Um, if I was, if I needed like a practice amp for my room, I would definitely get this amp, but I would, uh, I wouldn't be able to crank it the whole way because my neighbors and my family would just complain uh, about the loudness of it. And this thing could probably be used for gigging small clubs. It's so, like coffee houses for sure, uh, it's so powerful. And one of the coolest things about it is you don't need to have a bunch of stomp boxes. I'm playing it just uh, just this beautiful uh, Mineric Goddess, uh, one of my favorite guitars in the shop. Um, but I'm playing it just plugged directly into here. and. Uh, it's got four channels. It's got a clean, a crunch, a metal, and an insane, which you'll see what that's all about. Now it has built-in effects as well. I mean, it's got a chorus, flange, a phaser, tremolo, a echo, this thing called sweep echo, a tape echo, and a reverb. So, you and it's interesting how it's controlled. I'll show you in a moment. Um, but it's got plenty of versatility. It also has a CD input, so you can like plug your CD or MP3 player in and jam along, learn learn songs that way. Great way to learn songs and a headphone output. Yeah, definite must for this amp because it it is a slamming amp as far as volume goes. So um, I'm just gonna play some clean tones. <laughs> got the pickups on this guitar, uh, the volume knobs turned all the way up, so it could be overdriving the input just a bit, and there is a drive here, you can, uh, you know, push this, and uh, as far as the effect goes, it has a memory, it remembers what you did before when you switched between the channels, so, um, for right now, let's just do a plain, clean sound. so loud it's making, I don't have it up that loud, and it's making the whole uh, room shake. So I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. All these poor ukuleles behind uh, this amp are like shivering. Um, so that's just the clean channel, and you can get effects going on here. Like here's the chorus. So once you turn it up, you know, you get, it's like one knob, but it's three effects. So you go a little bit of chorus, a little bit more. Now it's getting kind of crazy. Whoa, now we've gone into phaser. It's a really cool phaser effect. As if you're familiar with line six, their effects are pretty amazing. Um, and then we've got a tremolo, which is cool. So as we go up, it, it's doing the intensity until you get like a chop if you turn all the way up. So I think that's kind of a cool effect. So, um, but you can turn it all the way off. And then we also have, uh, sim simultaneously you can run an echo. This is a sweep echo, this is kind of weird. And then you also have a tape echo, which is like a warm, echoey sound, kind of vintage sound. And then this is your tap tempo, so you can actually do a tap um, and set your delay time like this. I'm going to slower tempo here. And then you got just plain old reverb. It's almost like a reverse reverb. It's kind of cool. Interesting sound. So, I like that a lot. Now, we go into our crunch channel. It's going to get a little louder, I think. You can set the drive so that you can really get some crunch going on here. And you have a different volume. I think you can set this so each time it remembers the channel volume that you're at. So. so that's a really crunchy sound. You can dial it back. 
back down a bit. It's like an overdriven kind of fendery sound. Yeah, it's pretty clean actually, but you can drive it. So you got a good variation. I mean, we can. You got a wide variety of sound here. Now we're gonna get metal. This might get a little loud. on that now <laughs> that's the metal channel now we've got an insane channel uh, watch out Now that was really loud. I don't know if we're uh, overloading the microphone on this video, but the distortion that you hear, I'll listen to it back again, maybe comment if it's different, but the distortion uh, coming off this amp is pretty heavy duty, so I don't know how it could sound any different <laughs> when if it's distorting the microphone, but I guess it could. So we'll just leave it at that, putting it back on the clean channel. And uh, so if you're looking for this amp, this is a used amp, I, mean, I can't believe it. It's in really good condition and it sounds awesome. And it's available for probably a steal. I bet it's a really uh, low price. Just search CoolDiscountInstruments.com for a Line 6 Spider 2 15. And uh, thanks for watching CoolDiscountInstruments.com.